I've noticed that a lot of people are saying disparaging things about 2020 and how terrible it was and all that. And, you know, that's, that's one way to look at it. And certainly there were unprecedented challenges that we faced on every level, individual, collective, and also kind of just as a human race. And, you know, there were ones that showed up for us um, in our business in some ways. Uh, but the way that I think about it is that like inherent in challenges are valuable lessons that are really important. And, um, and I, I want to sort of honor the stuff that we learned um, and use that to make our lives even better going forward. So I think there's room to honor the heaviness that came with 2020 and also give thanks for what we learned and to be respectful of what this past year taught us. So I just wanna say thank you to all of you for showing up in the ways that you did for us as a company um, and for your families and your friends and your communities. And I feel really grateful to this team. I think that um, one of the positive things that came out of 2020 was a deeper realization of the things that really matter in life. And for me, that's like people and relationships and my own physical well being, so that I'm able to be and show up in a state uh, to be of service. And, you know, in our business, we were really fortunate um, to be set up super well for navigating something like a pandemic where everybody has to work from home because we were already working from home. And I think one of the reasons that we were able to navigate last year so effectively is because of our company culture and the ways that we communicate and take care of one another and the ways that we invest in the relationships amongst all of us. And I think that's what makes our team strong. And I think that will support us moving into 2021. And I'm optimistic about what this year will bring for us. And, and you know, we're going to, as always, take it one step at a time and move towards our goals. And I just want to like use this as an opportunity to remind you of what we do here. So Smart Marketer and Zipify um, at a high level are really philosophy businesses a lot like Boom, where we take a group of people, in our case, online entrepreneurs who want to grow their businesses, some on Shopify, some in, some in e-commerce, some in other areas, anybody who kind of is interested in the digital medium. Um, and we offer them another perspective, another like sort of a counterculture perspective to entrepreneurship, business ownership, and uh, relationship to your digital life, which is that you don't have to fucking work yourself into the ground and you don't have to grind and hustle and sacrifice to achieve your goals and that you can have a good time and enjoy yourself and prioritize your relationships and, um, and still be successful. And, and then we have off, so we, we, we put out content that is, um, that has its own sort of lens on it that's sort of different from what you find in most places. And then we also have things that we sell people, right? Courses that teach you how to um, take the steps you need to be able to start a career in tech or to grow your business or applications that you can put on your store that will help you. Um, and what we do on our team, so like that's kind of like what we do in the world is we are a, um, we are an, an example of a way of being in relationship to work that is not often talked about. It's more and more discussed, um, but it's not often practiced and not often talked about. And that's what attracts people to us is they take a look at the stuff we're doing and they say that feels different than everyone else. And that's, that's how we win. We don't win on being the biggest. We don't win on being the best marketers. We don't win on having the most content. We don't win on spending the most money. We win on feeling different than everyone else. And people feel that and they resonate with it. And they're like, I fucking like these people. I'm going to do business with them. Um, and so as a reminder, it's important that you are happy because if you're not, people feel that. And then that fucks with the hustle. So, so not only do I want you happy because I'm interested in you enjoying your work life, but that is also what is in the direction of our, of everybody staying employed. And so what we do is we enjoy our work lives and we do what it takes to be a happy team and we make good products that are that serve our communities and then we also strive to be profitable and so some of the reminders that i like to give at the beginning of the year is like listen no matter what your role is in the company you're the only person who can see what you can see right so your role is invaluable because you've got a particular lens that only you have and so if you see a way that you could be enjoying your work life better, that we could be making our products better, that we could be working better together, that we could improve something, let us know. We might not take the feedback every time, but like we wanna know what you see because like you have the agency to direct the ship. You have the agency to affect change within your life, 
your work life, the team's work life, our products, our projects. All you have to do is fucking speak up when you see something. Um, and you do this. This is not like a, this is a, this is already happening. So just, um, you know, asking that you do it even more in 2021. And another thing to remember is like, hey, we care about your progress and your ambitions. Jorge's a copywriter now. Laura's the leading social media expert in e-commerce. Heather's in technology. Anthony's a videographer. Wenberg's an advertiser. Like all these people are, and way more, are doing stuff that they didn't do when they came in. Most of those folks were in support. And so if you have something that you're interested in, maybe it's social, maybe it's copy, maybe it's ads, who, I don't know, whatever it is, let us know. Let your manager know. Let me know. Let Molly or John know. Let Colleen know. Let Ashley know. And outside of your work time, we can work with you to ensure that you've got a path towards learning that skill set. Because like, you can have whatever you want if you're willing to put the attention in the direction of what that thing is consistently. And maybe that's a skill set that will allow you to move into a different department of one of our companies someday. Or maybe it's a skill set that will allow you to more successfully, you know, run your side hustle or who knows. But like, if you've got some ambition in your work life, or in your personal life, like one of our team members wants to move to Hawaii with their family and they're working over the next couple of years to figure out how to make that happen. And I'm, I know about this desire of theirs and I'm doing what I can to support them. So whatever your ambitions or goals are, if you let us know, we can try to support you in creating those and your job first and foremost, this is your job. Okay. Yeah. You got whatever your job is, there's things you actually do. Okay. You, you know, run ads or you support our customers in achieving their goals, whatever. Moreover than that, that's not whatever. I mean, it's good, but like before that is you've got to do what it takes to show up to your work with a positive attitude, to be present and to give it your best. That is what I expect of you. I expect you to do the work it takes to take care of yourself in such a way that you can show up to with, a, with enthusiasm, with excitement, with presence, actually being present for what you're doing, not on Facebook on the side, like actually paying attention to what you're doing and giving it your best shot. That's what I'm paying you to do. Where we get, what whatever goals we set and whether we achieve them, that's irrelevant. I mean, I want to do it. And of course we want to hit our goals. We want to make money and all this kind of shit too. But like, I want you to do what it takes to show up to your work life, every part of it, to your calls, to the tasks that you have. And be thankful that you have the opportunity to work and be present with it really, really, and give it your best. And if you're doing that, you're doing your job. That's like what I care about over everything. And I want to ensure that you have what it takes to do that, to make sure you've got a comfortable place to work, to make sure you feel like you can communicate when you need help, whatever it is. Like my job is to give you what you need so that you can then show up in that way. But your job is also to take care of yourself, to get enough rest, to move your body, to meditate, to eat well, to like do what it takes so that you can show up to your work with a positive attitude, with presence, and really give it your best shot. Um, I think 2021 is going to be awesome. And I think that like, you know, hey, everybody wants to um, ascend in their careers. Everybody wants to make more money. Everybody wants to have an impact. And if you look around, that is what we are. If you, I mean, we've been around now uh, smart marketer since 2012 in this format of like having team members since about 2013. Um, you know, I convinced Papine to come work for me uh, for like, I don't know, 30 grand a year when he had like a $150,000 contract with Visa or something. And I was like, listen, dude, just give me a couple years. We're going to get there. And thank a lot. Thanks to him. We have gone some, we've gotten some cool places and we're just at the beginning. I mean, if you look at the fact that like Everybody is now recognizing that the shit that we do is cool and needed, right? We've been in the game since before it was cool, since we were just a bunch of internet nerds on a forum. But like now we are the cool tech people and we have the skills that everybody needs. And so like we're just at the beginning of what's possible in these companies. And in order to get where we want to go and provide the kind of opportunities to everybody on the team, your position is as important as every other position to ensure that the ball moves forward. And most importantly, that's you showing up happy and fulfilled, present, and giving it your best shot and telling us when you see ways we can improve and making suggestions and talking to your fellow team members and them and putting attention on them and supporting them. It's like, we will get there together. 